Welcome to this intro to Photoshop. This is based on a James Bond poster project that I teach, but you can still learn the basics from this video. First, you want to go to File, New. Then you want to select Print, and you want to go over to A3 Document. Now, it's important to select the document that your final design is going to be output to. We are making an A3 poster, so you select Print, A3, and make sure that the color mode is in CMYK. Hit create, and then you'll have your blank template. Next thing you want to do is press on file and save as. It's very good to save your work before you start working on it, so you can always press Control S, the shortcut, as you work. So hit save as. Now save it somewhere obvious and save it with a sensible name, so I'm gonna call it James Bond poster you can see I'm putting the hyphen in between it uh, and then I'll put uh, your name as well just to make sure get into the good habits uh, and then save it somewhere um, obvious as I said so hit save I'm assuming that you've downloaded a set of high resolution images if you don't know how to do that I'm going to quickly show you how to do that so you want to head on over to Google type something like 007 car you want to go to Images, Tools, and make sure you are searching for high resolution images. So click on Large, and if you see a car that you like or an image that you like, you click on it, right click, open Image in New Tab. Then you want to right click on it and Save Image to a destination that you've selected. So I've made a James Bond images folder. I'm going to hit save. Going back to Photoshop, what you want to do is go to file and open where you've saved those images. So here are all of my James Bond images. I'm going to select all of them by holding shift and selecting all of them. I'm going to hit open. Now these all open in their separate tabs. So what you want to do is open up your tab. You need to click and drag on the image, go to the James Bond poster and then let go. And then your images should appear. So you want to go through all of the images, through all of the tabs, drag and drop your image. So I'm gonna let go of my mouse button there. Close that tab, move on to the next one. You can also click on the layers here if you prefer. Let go and that appears too. Both work, so choose your preference. So you can click and drag from here. Or you can click and drag from the actual layer here. Click and then let go of your mouse. Okay, now the basics are as follows. You can see all of the layers uh, that I've copied in order. Uh, layer five is the one that's on top, that's visible, and you can see that layer one, the first one that I copied across is, is at the bottom. So what I would like you to do is get familiar with the visibility icon. So it looks like an eyeball, and you can turn off and turn on those layers depending on what you are working on. You can also reshift the layers to the order that you want. Remember that the top layer is the one that appears at the top of these uh, layers here. It's the one that you're gonna see at the top and the one at the bottom is furthest to the back. I'm gonna work on the James Bond image now, so I'm gonna turn off all the other layers while I work on that. So in Photoshop, you wanna make sure that Auto Select is on and Show Transform Controls is on. That means when you select an image, you get these uh, icons around it. You can resize the image. You can rotate the image. So I want you to try rotating, resizing. You can, always, you can also do things like right click on the image and you can flip the image as well, uh, should you wish to do so. So the first thing I want you to do is roughly get your images in uh, to scale. So I want you to play around with the scale. Um, so James Bond is likely to be uh, the biggest thing on the poster. Um, so you put him into position uh, and then what I might do now is uh, put his car uh, just in front of him here. So you can see it's behind him at the moment. So I'm going to click and drag the layer and put him above. 
and I've shown you in a previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. Now let's work on the James Bond layer first. To remove the background, you want to go to the Magic Wand tool, select Subject. Now um, Photoshop will automatically detect that there's a human in the image and, and uh, select the subject. Once it's selected, you want to select this icon here and it instantly gets rid of the background. So the background is blank, so you can't see the effect that it's had, but it has definitely removed the background. Let's do the same to the car. So let's click on layer three. Let's go select subject. So it should detect the car. Press on this icon here, and then you can see that the car is uh, seemingly floating at the moment, but as we build up our poster, it's going to start uh, to make sense. So what I want you to do is to resize, rotate, scale, and position all of the objects that you want in your poster, uh, making sure that it adheres to the film poster conventions. Now, another quick tip I want to show you is the opacity tool. So I have downloaded and put to the back a London skyline background. Let's get rid of that car because it doesn't make any sense to have a car in the sky. Uh, and then you'll see that this car doesn't really make sense at the moment. So I could show you uh, the 007 logo. Let's make it nice and big maybe in the background, but it's very, very distracting. So what you can do is you can select the, the layer that it's called and you can change the opacity so you can make it a bit more see through. Another top tip is to change the uh, blend mode. So if you select where it says normal, you can cycle through and get some really, really cool effects. So a combination of the two will make them seem um, will give you some really nice effects. Uh, let's find a cool one. Um, I quite like divide. So let's get rid of the opacity or let's lower down the opacity. And then you get a hint of that 007. You might want to put the antagonist in the back. Okay, so make sure you experiment and good luck.